The first united front began in 1924, when Nationalist Party leader Sun Yat-sen agreed to accept Chinese Communist Party members into the Kuomintang in exchange for organizational and military aid from the Soviet Union. Both hoped this agreement would help reunify China. This alliance was held together by Sun, and after his death in 1925, tensions grew between the CCP and right-wing GMD members. Chiang Kai-shek was made leader of the Kuomintang, and in March 1926, he expelled communists in the party from positions of leadership. As Chiang further targeted CCP members, a civil war broke out between parties on August 1, 1927. Both parties were in a battle for sovereignty. Shortly after, on October 1st, leader of the Chinese Communist Party Mao Zedong instituted a policy of land reform. In villages under CCP control, the party would seize all the land of the landlords and redistribute it equally to the peasants, in the process canceling all debts owed to the landlord. Landlords would have to undergo harsh criticism from the entire village, leading to public humiliation and sometimes death. While the small population of landlords was unhappy, the peasant majority was grateful for their newfound land ownership. They now had something to lose should the GMD retake control, and while many peasants weren't full communists, they supported and fought for the CCP nonetheless. The CCP took a large hit to their numbers from 1934 to 1935, during the Long March, in which the GMD followed the communists across China, attempting to wipe them out. But the CCP survived, making their base in northern Shenzhou far from the GMD in the south. In 1936, Chang was kidnapped in the Xi'an incident, but was freed with the help of Zhou Enlai and the CCP, aiding relations between the parties. Shortly after, on December 20th, 1936, the GMD and CCP agreed to begin the Second United Front, halting the civil war to focus on attacks from the Japanese. The GMD suffered significant losses against the Japanese army, and was largely incompetent at fighting. The CCP, however, m made significant blows, gaining respect from the Chinese population. And in 1937, the CCP attacked American forces, causing them to leave China. From 1937 to 1940, CCP membership went from 40,000 members to 800,000 members. In 1945, Japan surrendered due to defeat in World War II. Full-scale war between the GMD and CCP resumed June 26, 1946. As the USSR withdrew from Manchuria, both parties scrambled to control the area and its resources. Following the defeat of Japan, Chiang had planned economic reconstruction of China, but instead all money was diverted to the war effort, increasing taxes. The government, especially tax collectors, were already viewed as corrupt. Higher taxes, national debt, food shortages, and inflation, all as a result of continued war, further decreased support for the GMD, especially in cities. Many students and intellectuals protested for an end to the Civil War and the formation of a gov government which included the CCP. The GMD beat and arrested protesters and censored anti-party media. Additionally, as the GMD recaptured land from Japan, punishing villages who had undergone land reform, it became clear to millions of peasants that the nationalists only cared about landlords and the people of the cities. While the GMD had a much larger army than the CCP, most of the soldiers were forced into service by being drafted or kidnapped. Soldiers were beat and tied together by rope to prevent deserting. The People's Liberation Front, the CCP's military, Treated, treated its soldiers much better, and many GMD soldiers eventually surrendered to or even joined the communist army. Organizationally, the GMD had no centralized command. Many generals led their own armies, sometimes competing with each other for supplies. Many corrupt generals would even sell their supplies to turn a profit, letting their troops go hungry. This decentralized command hurt the GMD strategically, as the unified PLA moved swiftly, their loyal generals taking advantage of the uncoordinated GMD's army. By January of 1949, the CCP had control of Manchuria and northern China. The United States advised Chiang to stay in the south and protect his remaining territory, 
but he wouldn't give up Manchuria. Chiang overextended his forces, and in April of 1949, the CCP captured the GMD's capital in Nanjing. The GMD retreated, and on October 1st, the CCP created the People's Republic of China. Chiang and two million other nationalists retreated to Taiwan in December of that year, further legitimizing the CCP's rule. The GMD never admitted defeat, and Taiwan has yet to be seized by the communists, in part due to U.S. aid. Although the war never officially ended, the CCP gained full control of mainland China and still declares Taiwan as part of the country.